the flag is dropped and we are off. The junior women's road race. Let's see how this unfolds, how this plays out. I'll tell you what, Anthony, I didn't expect this. Zoe Backstead's gone straight to the front and she wants to lose as many riders as she possibly can and show her strengths on the very first climb of the day. And now France with Eglantine Rea decide we're going to see whether Zoe Backstead is actually that strong. And look at this, there's hardly any riders left already. As Great Britain rip it over the top of that climb now and put the pressure on, there's going to be 15, 20 riders left. Well, the, the attack has happened, 57 kilometers. She talked to her teammate and said, clearly, I'm going to go hard on this descent and see what happens. And Backstead is already clear. 50 kilometers an hour as she opens up the gap on the rest of the riders. It's already putting everybody under massive pressure. And France now decide that they need to work and they need to work quickly because this gap is starting to grow. Three laps of racing to go and this rider's decided in order to win the world road title again, I'm just going to time trial it. Well, this has been the, the star of the championships. She has been out for every single race encouraging the riders up the climb what can the peloton do is there anyone in there with fresh legs that can throw out a big attack and this is the big move from Eglatin Rea so it was one of her teammates that set the early pace on the climb and Rea now still trying to break up this chasing peloton Rea goes over the top of the climb big acceleration the British rider trying to chase her down I think there's 10 riders in this chasing group and we get an attack and it comes from the Dutch rider. She decides to go clear, open up a little bit of a lead, a birthday that she'll never forget. Zoe Backstead crosses the line with an advantage now of up to two minutes and 25 seconds. And she hits the line now, it's 2.24 with one lap of this at Wollongong circuit to go. As we're heading to the final climbs of Mount Usley and Mount Pleasant and Zoe Backstead has an advantage of two minutes and one second on the chasing rider Ninka Vinka and the group of Kapeki and Rucci. Vinka looking absolutely superb, she's closing up, she looks around, she's got about 13 seconds on the chasers. Still Ninka Vinka is holding on to that slender lead. You can see the peloton coming back slowly but surely to the group behind they're about to catch them the french rider is such a good climber you can just see that the way she spins away with that tremendous cadence up towards the top of the climb she gets out of the seat now she says goodbye and tries to chase down the rider from the netherlands and look at the ease that she's doing that the speed this is the silver and bronze fight Eglantine Rea. And I expected this along this uh, section, really well suited towards Ninka Vinka of the Netherlands. She has left Rea from France behind, which means the peloton may catch the French rider. Rea refusing to give in, desperately trying to get back to the wheel of the Dutch rider. 100 metres to go, 57 kilometres solo. It's a brilliant birthday. The British rider Zoe Backstead blazes to a phenomenal victory in the Junior World Championship. You've just witnessed something that's absolutely incredible. Vinka is looking around like a track rider. Rea is ready to pounce. Rea goes a little bit early, tries to get the element of surprise. She's the lighter rider. Are France going to get the silver? Ninka Vinka would have been expected to get rid of the French rider. She doesn't do it. It's Edmontine Rea who takes silver. Ninka Vinka who takes the bronze. First place, UCI world champion and winner of the gold medal, Zoe Backstead. <laughs> And the yes. crowd and singing happy, happy birthday. birthday. That's a nice touch.